So many of you ask me why my eyes look the way they do and it's because I'm completely blind in my right eye and mostly blind in my left. And the crazy thing is for people like myself, AI is opening doors that we didn't even know previously existed. So Microsoft gave me the chance to sit down with their very own Kenny Singh who himself suffers from a visual impairment called retinitis pigmentosa to discuss the implications of AI and accessibility, I basically jumped at the chance. And Kenny actually gave three really cool use cases that AI like Microsoft's Copilot can have in terms of accessibility needs for, in my case at least, visual impairment. So here's what he had to say. First, I've been using AI a lot as an accessibility partner. If I have highly visual depictions, whether it's graphs, whether it's uh, slides, whether it's screenshots. In the past, I actually had to increase the magnification on the screen to really look at these images. Now with AI, there's an independent set of eyes, very highly capable eyes that can actually make sense of the images for me. The second is is leveraging AI as a thought partner. So I have lots of conversations with Copilot uh, using the advanced voice mode. I use that both in Copilot Pro, the consumer edition, and in M365 Copilot. The third thing I'm actually using AI extensively for is producing accessible content. I use the AI baked into Word, into PowerPoint, in all of these applications to ensure that the content that is actually being produced is accessible by design and accessible by default. So then in that sense, personalization equals accessibility. Well, yeah, like I, I couldn't have put it better myself, honestly.